Hey guys, it's Vandy as well, back in the Carpet Vanguard deck profile, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe. This time we are covering DZ Set 5 for Leo Amarota, Kido Sanctuary. So the first deck profile we showed off was Leo Odium, so obviously now we got to show off Leo Amarota. And this is an interesting one because Leo actually got support, and I didn't think she would, and I didn't think I would like this deck as much as I do now, because I used to hate Leo with a burning passion, and now I honestly find this deck very fun to play. Set 5 has made me change my views on a lot of the decks that Bushy released that I really thought I would hate. So let's get this dark show and see what we got, because honestly this deck is actually fun. First of today we have our generator. It's our ride deck crest. You remember deck and you run ride deck crest and your ride deck. Auto ride deck. When you would ride, put a card to your crest line for one second. Energy charge three. Continues may have turn energy. I'll be getting red face. Energy charge three, and then act one for turn energy by seven. Draw a card. All around, it's solid. You get a free three energy every turn. If you win second, you get an extra three on top of that, and it helps increase your hand by energy blasting seven whenever you can to draw an extra card. All around, it's nice to have. We do have energy blasters in this deck that kind of do the same thing, but better for a cheaper cost. But in case you don't see any of those cards, that energy blast seven can end up being your saving grace with that free draw so it's a nice ride deck crest to have moving on to our units we have our player of the olafond bellista so that's our starter grid zone boost 5k shows this k base auto and motor for a second draw card standard starter nothing spots for free draw if you go second you can make the same starter you want none of the ride line requires this card just to make it the ride line starter because well it's the canonical starter to the ride line so one of bellista Moving on to our triggers, we have our over-trigger in Light Dragon DD of Honors, Amartinoa, Grid Zone Boost, 50k Shield, 5k Power, over-trigger, over trigger in your new deck. When revealed as a trigger, move that card, draw a card to choose one of units, and give it plus one million for the turn, and you revealed it during your draft check, activate its addition effect, which until end of the turn, you can also perform draft check for the battles of your rear guard attack. All around, pretty solid, because when you drive check this or damage check this, regardless of which turn it is, you get a free million in a draw suit if someone's not getting hit that turn, or someone is getting hit that turn, unless your opponent has some way of interfering with that. And then if you did draft check it, you get rear guard drive checks, and then a deck that could, depending on which turn you sack this on, either get somewhere between four extra drive checks or five extra drive checks going into it. Armatino is definitely a very powerful and solid over trigger to reveal. It's definitely the least consistent out of the over, so if you want to run involved enough from a multi attacking, or you want to run its folio for resource recycling, or you want to run the dark over trigger for healing and calling, you can definitely do any of those. And I can see reasons for I just to run Armatino because I like to run the nation over triggers, which is why you always see the nation over triggers with my deck profiles. Moving on to our normal triggers, we have three copies of Protection of Magic Pro B, Grade Zone Boost, 5k Shield, 4k Power, Draw Dragon's Guard Star, Points Vanguard's are Grade 3 or Greater, it gets 5,000 Shield. So, you know, 10k Shield, nice to have, it's a draw trigger, it helps increase the hand, and with a deck that needs quote unquote specific units on board to do its thing pro b being a draw trick help then out for those units is nice to have you could run all pack for more front number row numbers i think if it wasn't for the support we got and i would definitely recommend that but with the support we got i feel confident in not running the front trigger so three of pro b then we have an eight total of eight crits eight four four not uh, now i'm getting my numbers confused four copies of chevalmia grade zone boost 15k show 5k power standard crit nothing's about it you can really run any crit you want here just to make a chevalmia because well this card came out in the DZ set start deck, which was Sarasso's trigger. And then we all know those triggers became the triggers of the faded ones, which in that case was Rezael. And while technically the triggers did mirror to their destined ones, and while Leo is not a destined one, she is another faded one, therefore this crit becomes hers. So four copies of this, again, it could be any crit you want. I mean, four copies of Blade for the Dragon Guard, so it boosts in case you have 4k power. Auto rear guard, I have the boost to shove it to Soul Shooter, make it to hit turn. Okay, that 2k, unless you have two of these on board, is not going to make a difference in terms of numbers. But it being able to go to Soul is helpful because we have a lot of Soul Blasters in here, and by a lot, I mean one in particular that you kind of use all of your Soul on to where, you know, they're going to run into Soul problems. Actually, technically, there is two Soul Blasters in here. Nope, never mind, there's three Soul Blasters in here. So, you know, you're going to want to run the Blade Father just in case because a lot of those cards are really good and helpful depending on certain situations. So, of eight crit for pressure and you don't want to run big fight and then we have four copies of bringer of distant sounds aranas grid zone boost 50k show 5k power stand your heel nothing's about it you can really learn any who you want i should make an aranas because again like shaw of balmia came out in the start deck which therefore became faded one triggers and because she's a faded one this became her heel trigger so for veranas you can make it any who you want you can make the counter heels but for the consistent 50k show function 10 25k show Moving on to our next grade one, or our grade ones actually. We have two copies of Anunkyo. That's what happens when I don't breathe for five seconds and I stop myself from breathing. I'll proceed to almost black out and completely forget what I'm saying. Anyways, two copies of Anunkyo Angel. Grade one boost, 5k shield, 8k base, auto rear guard. When your vanguard is placed by riding from a grade three, soul boss one and retire of this unit to counter charge one and choose vanguard to get 5,000 power for the turn. Okay, cool. This activates from normal riding, say for persona riding, and you want to make your field a little bit better because you're going to have a bunch of same name cards of stuff in bind zone, which does actually make a difference with a lot of our support cards here so being able to rearrange your board and still get counter turn out of it is great and also get the vanguard 5k but it also works during the battle phase with a very certain superior ride ability which 
sometimes we'll have a booster behind it. So two of Anunculate, you don't want to see it too often, especially because, again, it does eat into the soul, which is a hard resource to maintain here. For some reason, I feel like the soul is harder to maintain in the deck than CB. I mean, it definitely used to be CB, or soul was harder. And now it's like, I still think soul is harder, but I think now it's like evened out in a good way. Not where like CB got heavier, even though there are more CB units in this deck, but... I feel like it got easier to manage between like CB and Soul now where Soul is only barely more of a problem than CB. Either way though, again, being able to CC in a deck that does CB a lot is nice. And again, free 5k advance, so two of. Then also this is Keter Sancho in a deck that thins a lot. So you could basically draw this easily even though it's had two copies. Then we have two copies of Grogron who proceeds to prove me exactly wrong because while I will draw almost both copies of Anunculate like, consistently, I will never draw this. Great on boost, 5k short, 8k base, continues Rearguard Circle. If your unit was placed by the ability of Vanguard Divine Skill this turn, doesn't matter if it was placed by a Divine Skill as long as the unit had Divine Skill skill so armor to to superior call skill automatically procs towards this this unit gets auto rear guard at the end of this unit boosted retire this unit counter charge one it gets 5,000 power okay another counter charger good to have 13k booster the reason why anunculates here at two copies when this is technically better anunculate does remove board presence and it gives it to the vanguard to where who again doesn't have a booster and most likely not, this is not going to be behind the vanguard circle not to mention the fact that the Divine Skill ability, it just says when placed, so it could be when placed on Rearguard, when placed on Vanguard, so again, this appear right from the Divine Skill, it does work for this. So I like to have them both at two of, if you don't want either to be here, or you want to have one over the other, by all means, change that to your liking. I just choose to have both, because they do come in nice for certain situations. And also just really like calling an Uncle to the front row, and for some reason, an Uncle always shows up by winning hand. Moving on to our next grade one, four copies of Magic of Stimulants Euphoria. So I really love this grade one now, and I used to hate this card, because she would never show up, and when she would show up, her skill would never be useful because i would either have no soul because i need it for an uncle cc ability or i would just not be able to use her because i completely forgot to use her or her skill just wasn't useful but nowadays i don't know she just feels really not, I, nice this deck feels like it actually upgraded to where i can use it properly great on boost five showed aka base but that's also more of my play style and getting used to the deck though so there's that too continues rear guard during about this unit boosted if you have a great three grade of leal in the card you get five thousand power and then auto rear guard when this unit boosts a great three grade of leal uh she gets 2k on top of that so a total of 15k booster and soul boss one shift to one card with the same card name as any of your units from the drop zone, bot deck, and the choose our units get 5,000 power for the turn. So the unit that gets 5k does not have to be the same unit that gets bot deck, but again, being able to pick any unit and bot deck it, which does not say that it has to be normal units. So if you have a heal trigger on board, you could bot deck a heal trigger because it doesn't stop you from doing that. But again, you're more likely not going to pick something that, I don't know, has an ability that wants to get bound, superior called, you know what I mean? Or you just want to recycle because maybe you've sent all of them to drop zone at some point and you really want to deck them for it now. But again, Euphoria is a nice grade one to have. She gets your cards back. She's good for numbers. And while bot decking isn't nice, since her ability is probably going to proc before Leal's does and then Leal calls from deck and then shuffles it, it, you essentially get a unit back so four of her nice to have can get triggers back and get normal units back doesn't matter she'll do what you need her to do so four of and we have four copies of Swordsman of Twin Stains, Estir. When I saw this card in the anime, I was so excited because A, he had two swords, B, pink hair, or she, I don't know gender at this point, but also the fact that I saw it restand twice, even though they didn't say it, because it only, they only mentioned it restanding once, but you could see by the, uh, th what's it called, anime, it restood twice in one turn, which is fun. Anyway, Swordsman, great on boost, fight, showed get base, auto, back, or rear guard circle. When your rear guard is saying, calm as it is bound by the ability of your great third guard of Angle on the card name, not superior, called, bound, stay in this unit. All around pretty solid because A, that specific wording now leaves up to interpretation. If Bushy ever made a card that says on place, move a unit in your back row to the front row, you can now use that with Leal to stand this, but also you can just give your triggers back to here, and then every single time you use Leal's bound ability, even though it's only going to be once per turn outside of the Divine Skill turn, you can just stand it, and during those Divine Skill turns, stack your triggers onto this because it's going to be an 18k, 28k, possibly 38k booster every single time. Four of SDR, all around very solid, great one to have, even though its ability is, it only has one ability, and it's simple, is a good one, because it can keep restanding and give you an infinite booster for literally no cost at all. It doesn't require the opponent to be at a specific rate either, so four of SDR. Then we end, it's also, again, the thing I always bring up with, like, multi-attack decks, a lot of multi-attack decks struggle with, like, deciding when to boost and when not to boost, because if they boost on one attack, the other attack is also going to be weaker. Istiar being able to restand means you can always boost with it, so four of. Anyways, onto our next card, four copies of RPG, Bringer of Protection, Keflon, Great Own Boost, Zero of Souls, okay, base continues, out though, you have to perform like in deck, also put on guard circle, choose one it cannot be hit to the battle, and if your hands two more cards in it, choose a card from your hands, guard and RPG, nothing too special about it, basically that means if this and only one other card is in your hand, we put it on guard circle, you don't have to scout is great because that means you can be as aggressive as I want in the early game. Okay, I'm not gonna say it this time because you don't necessarily want to spam out your entire hand because. 
board lineup does matter in this deck but if you have this in hand at least appear at least call this one and then depending on what your rest of your hand looks like maybe call these two depending on the situation but um when your opponent eventually counterattacks you you know for committing over or over committing your hand to the offense pg middle finger them and the best part about leal is because she has a pg ability one that no one ever uses for very specific reasons but still very solid to have so like speaking you have seven pgs in this deck so four of kefalon all around very nice card to have and again because euphara does not have a restriction on her skill if for some reason this hits the board you can just swing it back to bot deck so four of kefalon Entre Oscar, one of the deck, one of the rad deck, and on the main deck of Player of the Lovely Harp at Vorfus. Great on boost, 5k shield, 8k base, auto when she is rolled upon by Player of the Beautiful Cord Algenia, Soul Boss 1, draw 2 cards, and then bot deck, or not bot deck, ditch a normal unit from your hand, up to 1 normal unit from your hand, and if you don't discard a normal unit, choose 2 cards from your hand, discard them. Okay, this can be done the same way that Ranker Chain skill is from Zorga, where it, it's riddle enough, it's the exact same cost, and the difference is the timing. Soul Blast, you draw 2 cards, you pick the specified card in Ranker Chain's case order, in this case, normal unit, you ditch one. If you don't ditch one you do have to ditch two but you can just ditch two copies of the thing that you would have ditched normally say for example because a lot of the times people would ditch two orders for um breaker chain instead or they would still ditch an order but then they would just like a roaming prison dragon so they could fill up their drop zone faster that's what you can do with the dorfus you can just choose it to ditch two normies instead of one or if you're doing some weird combo with the resel line you could technically ditch a crit into a crit just so you could get more crits back but one of orifice all around very solid great one to have get you hand cards which could lead to an early game rush it's all for a simple soul boss of one which does kind of warrant the reason why we have some soul charges here so one of in the right deck on to our great twos four copies of source saint of iterate iteris i don't know i was gonna say source saint dragon great during set 5k shield 10k base continues rear guard circle during your turn if your binds on has a card the same card names you give plus 10,000 power the second you get a card and binds on the same name and this is why you're this is your main superior call and bind target for later or more armor Rota. it's a 20k which is pretty solid to have for beat sticking and then alder when this unit is bound from rear guard during your turn if you have a great third grade of own card name soul boss one to draw a card and choose their vanguard to have the power for the turn okay increases your hand gives a vanguard an 18k so you know on attack she can at least attack without boosters combine that with an inocula an angel i'm gonna say angelic angel but it gets for a good number so all around Enderus is a very solid great two to have has power for himself and again is your main bind target and is a little iffy once one of them hits the damage zone because that means you only have two more to run with and that's where heal triggers and then uh stimulants over here comes in really useful so four of iteris for the recycle factor and uh not the recycle factor four of stimulus for the cycle factor four of this thing for good number beat stick and good like consistency being able to increase hand and make the vanguard stronger when bound then we have four copies of Knight of Piercing Skies, Penetreta. Grade 2, Intercept, 5k shield, 10k base, continuous rear guard. During your turn, if you're buying on the same card name, is this unit get 5,000 power? Okay, weaker version of Iterus, but again, a possible buying target if you need it, so 15k. And then auto rear guard, when you're a grade 3 grade of anger, Lilith's card is placed at any point during any turn by any means. Could be during your opponent's turn, could be during your turn, could be the battle phase, could be the main phase. Sorry, the right phase, I mean, you get what I mean. As long as it was a place and this thing was on the ball for, energy buys 3, bind itself, draw a card. Okay, she gets rid of herself, she uses up 3 energy. She to get you a hand card all around pretty solid it does open up your board so again earlier i said like board presence does kind of matter because obviously you want to have these behind the um side rear guard columns preferably this is in the middle column and then i mean this is the only one you really want in the middle column i mean you could take okay this or anuncula it could be a middle column these two you want to have on the side columns and then these kind of depend on where you're gonna put them depending on where Istar is so the fact that it could remove itself in case like you didn't have one of these on your first grade three turn and then you had this on your words or before you got to grade three and now you do have one of these so now you want to get rid of it since it was in front of Istar is pretty solid so for Ventra it uses your energy well and it does get you hand cards to replace it and worst case scenario it's a possible replacement for eater so four of then we have four copies of Sequence Wizard. Great turn set, 5k shield, 10k base. I really thought this thing would add a CB prompt to the deck. For some reason, it hasn't. When auto when placed on rear guard circle during the main phase, if your vanguard's a grade 3 or grade allele, CB1 check top 5 to 1 grade 3 less unit card from other call to rear guard circle off the deck. Okay, let's just do CB1 call anything from your deck, which is pretty solid. And then auto rear guard when your other unit is bound by your vanguard's ability. Get 5 less power for the turn, and then you may soul charge 1. Upsides to this. Free 5k every single time something is bound. So if they ever make another Leal, which could bind more cards, then okay, Sequels is going to get more 5k. Typically, those are only going to get 10k. 5k from the normal one, and then 5k from the second one, which you would get only once per game for the Divine Skill turn. But the Soul Charge ability is really nice because A, it gives you free Soul Charge, but B, it's a May. So if you think you're going to flip a trigger or you're running close to decking out and you don't want to do the Soul Charge, you do not have to. You'll still get the 5k anyways, and you just won't have to Soul Charge. All around, Sequence Wizard is a very solid grade 
Ray 2, checks top 5 and gets you a rear guard, and it can be placed from its own skill and proc that same skill again, which is pretty solid, and a lot of cards don't have that ability. And again, it gets 5k every single time something's bound, and you it's a choice between soul charging and not soul charging. It makes for a really good grade 2 and a nice support card of that, so it's an easy 4 for me. Following on that, we have our last creature in the deck. We won't have in the right deck, none in the main deck. A player of the beautiful court, Elegenia. And like how Rezio kind of just wants to throw out a bunch of crits before you get to grade 3, shove them all back once you get to grade 3, and then try to bomb rush your opponent for game. Elegenia pretty much does the same thing about for Norminas. Grade 2 instead of 5, 5 shield, 10k base. Auto and wrote upon by a grade 3 card, Leo in the card, and choose any number of Normies from your drop zone, bot deck them if you chose 3 or more, draw a card. And this is the deck where I will casually just PG in before either side gets to grade 3. Hell, before my opponent even gets to, hell, before I get to grade three so if my opponent's even at grade two i'll still pg because elegenia will just bot deck everyone i'll draw a card and then when i swing with leo or when i just call sequence or whatever happens first i will just shuffle my deck and then i still have a pg in deck so yeah elegina gets you a lot of hand cards back i mean she only gets you one hand card back but essentially you can be as aggressive as you want and if your opponent board nukes you or you just discard a bunch of cards elegina will just get them all back for you and because leo can shuffle it's not like they're all at the bottom so one of her in the right deck nice to have and a good honest support card from going off of adolphus over here now we move on to our grade threes. Three copies of Salvar Dragon. Grade three, turn on press north, 13k base. Continues rear guard during turn. If your Bison has a card with the same name as any of your units, not specifically him, just any other unit, it gets 10,000 power. Okay, not bad. It's a 23k beat stick. Literally once an Iterus gets on board, if you have another Iterus in bind zone, Iterus gets 10k, this gets 10k. Uh, same with Sequence Wizard, same with this thing. Like, you get the point. As long as something hits the bind zone that's a duplicate, it gets 10k. And that's all, because worst case scenario, you might have to call a trigger. This happened to me one game. You might have to call a trigger. You might have to poke with that trigger. You might have to use Amarota skill, bind that trigger, call a second copy of that trigger. Boom, you have another copy of everything on board. This thing is plus 10k, and you barely have enough for lethal. Yeah, that happened once, and, and it was the dumb sequence of events i have ever seen three of salvar dragon it is a beat stick at that and you don't want it to hit the well you don't need it to hit the board but if it has to hit the board it is definitely not the end of the world it can do its job and it does its job well so three of and obviously you want to have more than just two because if one hits the damage zone then it's no longer a target for its own skill because it won't be able to superior call itself from our, i mean you could but then you know it could die easily so three of then we have our last card on the deck, three of in the main deck, one of in the right deck, of our main grade three, faded one of time, Leo Amarota, or Leo equals Amarota. I know you're not supposed to say the equal, I just like saying the equal. Grade three, 10 person, 13k base, auto, vanguard, I don't know why I was trying to say act. I tried to say act, and then I said auto, so then it kind of combined. Auto, vanguard, when this you attacks on anything, CB1, choose one of your rear guards, bind it, search after one card, that's in card name, is that card called to rear guard, short stuff deck. Okay, all around pretty solid, doesn't have to attack a vanguard, doesn't matter what grade it attacks into, as long as it attacks something, CB1, bind a card, call a card with the same name. Okay, get Salvar Dragon, get Self plus 10k. It could get Iteris. If Salvar Dragon's on board, give it 10k. Give this thing 10k. Give the Vanguard 5k to draw. Could be Penetra. You get the point. It, it does combos with that. And then if you were playing the old version of this deck, technically you could swing with a rear guard, swing with specifically Karibre, and then swing with Leo Odium, bind that Karibre, call that Karibre, use that card skill, get another card from the top five. And then during the bind skill turn, you technically get could get seven attacks in a turn you never should do that because that's a unnecessarily convoluted bs play that takes up pretty much all your cb and all your soul but hey it was an option i did build the previous deck off it and it pulled it off like once consistently and it got shut down by a damage trigger so there's that the other skill the skill that no one ever uses for very specific reasons auto and placed on guard circle ditch a hand card and put two nor put two cards from your binds onto bob deck and i order choose one of your units with fatal one the card name it cannot be hit in the battle okay before its new support came out this skill was incredibly hard to use because a the only other card that could easily get stuff into bind zone was the festival collection cards the chapel thing that could just bind a rear guard by forcing it to intercept quote unquote and basically once you do get your two cards in bind zone you automatically have this with pg the issue is you never had access to two of these at once because one would be used for persona obviously and then the other one would preferably be used as a pg except more likely than not you're only going to have one copy in hand so you have to debate is it worth persona riding or is it worth guarding obviously the difference is between winning and losing and if you don't guard you lose and obviously you're going to go that way and just pray to god that you top deck the persona riding. but the other issue is a lot of the cards as you could see required bind zone cards so if you could only get those two bind zone cards before we got the support when we went to the divine skill turn automatically you lose those iteris no longer has 10k because you no longer have bind zone cards savar so no longer has 10k you get my point but thankfully with the existence of this it's at least a little bit easier to consider Consistently pull it off. And then Divine Skill turn, auto Vanguard at the end of this unit. If your opponent's Vanguard is a grade 3 or greater, choose a card with the same card name as this unit from your drop zone, and you may ride it as stand. And if you roll with that unit, lose one drive for the turn. Okay, 
it gets you one more soul. It technically self triggers inoculate skill because inoculate now has a soul to use it in because there's the one that now just got written on top of. You are able to use this skill again because it's not a hard once per turn. Hell, it's not a once per turn in general. So they found a way just to restand this alone. You'd be able to do it, and it gives you you know. Now, I'm not going to say benefits, but it does allow you to technically use this defensively and then just appear right the one you use as a PG. Again, the only other issue with this is this is technically a ditch two, unlike the normal PGs, where it's only ditch two if you have like more than two cards, including itself. This, you know, no longer works that way because it has to ditch a card for a part of the cost. But hey, is what is. You have an extra PG in your deck. It could work as a persona, right? And at least it will always be on Vanguard Circle, meaning we will always have a target for you four over here. So it's not a bad card to have in the deck. It's a three of in the main deck. It's a one of in the ride deck. You know, the persona ride turn hits like hell because we got Sequence Wizard. We got two superior calls. We got either this thing or this thing backing up Sequence Wizard. And I'll mention the fact that, um, you know, superior stand on top of that and any of these boosters. So very nice card to have in a three of in a one of in the ride deck. And without further ado, that's it for this deck. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, I used to not like this deck very much. The only part I liked about this deck was this, essentially, the combo between just drawing two cards, ditching a normie. I would never ditch two. I think there was one game where I did ditch two, and then I'll genuinely to put them all back and draw an extra card, and then just bomb rush my opponent. Now the deck feels really consistent, because we got really good numbers, and our Persona Ride turn really does hit like a truck. We have extra ways to bind, so at least this skill is a little bit more consistent. And not to mention the fact that the deck just feels overall more consistent overall, and uh, we got a really good back for Reestander, who I just really like. And this card which i did not like at all has now become really useful for me and i just like she shows up more often i can use her skill more consistently it just feels nice so without further ado i'm going to one here hope all of you enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe join for switch and i'll see you all in the next one don't forget to up your vanguards <laughs>